You read the headlines all day long and you have all these people forecasting this, forecasting that. I used to work with a lot of Wall Street guys and every year, every company had the economist give the prediction for the upcoming year. Every year, every big company had their own prediction. And every year, one person got it right, everybody else got it wrong. And next year, everyone would flock to that one person that got it right, and the next year, they would get it wrong, and someone else would actually get it right. So let's be very clear. No one has the ability to predict what's happening, and all of us think just back on the pandemic. When the pandemic happened, that was the end of the world. I can remember sitting here in my chair going, everyone is gonna cut expenses, no one is gonna buy anything, people are saving their money, people are not gonna have any money, because no one could predict that. And real estate agents thought they would never sell a home again. And the pandemic just turned out to be the biggest boom in real estate and nobody saw that coming. So first of all, we do not have the ability to predict the market. More importantly, we don't control what the market is going to do. We don't control what the buyers and sellers are going to do. The market is the market, period. And no matter what kind of market there is, life is still happening. People are still being born, people die, people get married, people get a divorce, People get a new job, kids move in, kids move out. Life happens. Things that trigger selling are usually life events. What's going on right now, in my opinion, is we are in a wait and see period of time. We have never experienced a market we just came out of. That was insanity what was going on. And everyone kind of got used to that being the pace, that being the new norm. That's not the pace, that's not the new norm. Just like interest rates, when people bought their homes back in, say, 1981, people's mortgages was around 18, 19%. And where are we right now? We are at six and seven. We are right at the midpoint for the past 30 years where interest rates has been. However, that's not so bad, right? So again, we are in a wait and see place, in my opinion, real estate, it's not a priority for many people right now. And who knows what the new year will bring. So that being said, stop worrying about the market. Stop listening to what everyone is saying about the market. And that's it. <laughs>